instead we decided to watch, I don't know in what order, maybe <laughs> forwards, maybe backwards, maybe down the middle, Kaleidoscope, the new series of Netflix that Zach had some thoughts on. <laughs> well, I mean, tell people the specific adver- way. <laughs> it, it's advertised as a show that you can watch in any order, which is cool because at least from my experience of it, you can watch it in any order and it's bad either way. Like any way that you want to order the episodes, it just does not work. And, and I oh, don't damn. know. Like, I think, I think this is the kind of idea that I would have found really cool a while ago when I maybe knew a little bit less about the medium. And now that I, now that I have a different understanding of it, I feel like I, I, I understand the reason that you structure things a certain way so that audiences, uh, you know, have rising tension and then falling tension and that you get introduced to characters and then subverting those characters. And their solution to all of that is to kind of simplify everything so that no matter what point you enter in, you won't be too confused, but you also won't be too interested because... The, it's just a little bland. Like the heist yeah. isn't that cool. The characters don't have unique backstories. The, their dynamics feel like ripped off of other things. It's just like a very, the the only real interesting thing here is the construction and the construction doesn't work. Sadly, uh, the way that they were pitching this was they realized that with the binge model, it doesn't really matter where you begin or end. And then they just ran with it. I was like, that's all y'all had going. It's like they <laughs> yeah. saw the numbers Money Heist did and then went, how can we make the most bland version of that? I agree with you. Yeah. During the Quibi days, uh, they were telling every single person, bring your movies in and then chop them up at every 10 minute point, And they forced these rising tensions. Zach's 100% right. If you don't have something that you're leading to, it's because they're too lazy to actually build a narrative. Mm-hmm. The heist, all that, all the whole storyline is, it's like, Bare minimum. It's fine. It's not yeah. the worst thing in the world, but it becomes so bland because there's no, uh, there's not really a cohesive way to watch the series. It's like they mm-hmm. know that people give up on a lot of these shows halfway through. So they're like, well, what if you don't know when you're halfway through? <laughs> <laughs> it's so goofy. And yeah. uh, the other elements to it, because they're all named after colors, right? So the production mm-hmm. people were like, right, so everything's violet then. And I'm like, oh my goodness, is that all we're going to do? Everything's <sighs> right. green now. And it's like elements that don't even need to. And then you'll cut to another episode and then they just lose that consistency because now it has to be the color of whatever the episode is. I like yeah. it if you like color theory, but there's not really any theory to it. They just kind of yeah. throw things at the wall. Um, a, it, it's fine for what it is. The performances aren't too crazy. Bro, it took me a second to realize that was the boy Jai. I was yeah. looking at him for a little bit. I was like, damn, Jai. He, menacing in here. I'm glad he's still getting rolled, yeah. but it took me a second to register it was him. Uh, Giancarlo's good. He's innocent, I guess, but he he he's put himself in a pickle, I feel. John Carlo from Far Cry Voices to The Boys. Mm-hmm. Ah, I, I want to see him do something different. I, I feel like yeah. they've pegged him down. I mean, it's it's the unfortunate thing that his role as Gus Fring is so iconic that he's been asked to kind of like sand off the edges of it for all sorts of different productions and whether that is like popping up in Star Wars popping up in the boys being in this it does sort of feel like we're getting the same Giancarlo performance it may be different like different sides to it but like yeah over and over and over again especially (sighs) because like they literally brought back Gus Fring on Better Call Saul like he's still doing that character up until late last year uh I, I think he's a really talented actor, but I need to see him try something different. Agreed. Uh, I, I like how they put it in the chat. This sounds like the best idea from 2007. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sadly. But, hey, it's out there. If you were interested in it, uh, Kaleidoscope was probably the biggest release of the week. 